Welcome to the Construction Equipment Company's Roadrunner Series Crushing and Screening Sales and Training Videos. CEC and its employees are proud to build some of the highest quality portable rock crushing and screening equipment in the industry. The video you will be viewing today will be covering the sales features and benefits of one or more of the following. Portable jaw crushers, portable cone crushers, portable horizontal impact crushers, vertical shaft impactors, portable screen ends, 4x10, 5x12, 6x16, portable crush -its, portable wash plants, sand screws, coarse material washers, blade mills, radial stackers and conveyors, and vibrating grizzly feeders. Good day. Our subject is jaw crushers. The jaw crusher is the primary or first crusher in a hard rock crushing plant. It uses compression to fracture the rock. A jaw crusher is rated by two sizes, 30 by 42. The first number is the front to back measurement, peak to valley of jaw dies, jaw die to die. The second number is the side to side measurement, cheek plate to cheek plate, hence 30 inch front to back and 42 inch side to side. The jaw crusher can be fed materials up to 80% of their opening. Let's look at the crusher. The compression to crusher is caused by the overhead eccentric shaft, heavy flywheels, and rotation of the pitman on the shaft. Pitman is the name of the structure that holds the movable jaw die, pitman, and protection plate. This unit rotates around the eccentric shaft and pivots at the base against the toggle plate. The toggle plate is a pivot plate for crushing and also is a link or fuse that will break to relieve the chamber if you feed the crusher an object that is not crushable, like a loader digging tooth. Now look at the chamber again. We have the pitman protection plate mounted above the crusher die. This protects the bearing housing of the crusher from abrasive wear of rock during the crushing cycle. Just under the protection plate is the jaw die. This is a rib tooth die that provides excellent grip to the rock for crushing. The chamber nip angle that causes the gripping and feeding process is 27 degrees. This is an industry angle that is considered the best. The reduction ratio of a jaw is considered to be 6 to 1. Feed 30 inch rock and get back 5 inch product. You adjust the jaw by unlocking of the toggle block, moving the block forward, and adding shins to space the block to the frame. Jaws have a range of adjustment sizes, so you can provide the most desirable product size to the secondary crusher. CEC jaw crushers have these features. Pitman shaft bearings run in oil to assure excellent lubrication in hot to cold working temperatures. The Pitman bearings are sealed and protected from the dirt by grease-type labyrinth seals. The jaws can be equipped with hydraulic toggle release for ease of adjustment. Toggle block movement is accomplished by a hydraulic cylinder. This is fast and easy. Adjustment is positive by shims to provide full operating range. The toggle plate to Pitman system is locked together dual spring cushion toggle rods. The main crusher frame is a weldment that is oven baked to provide stress relieving before being machined for shaft installation. The pitman is an all steel casting and is also stress relieved before machining. Stress relieving neutralizes stress caused by welding or casting. This assures that you will not have cracking and failure of components under operational load. The shaft on all CEC jaws is machined from premium forged chrome molybdenum steel material. The primary grade material, along with the stress relieved heavy duty mainframe and pitman, allows CEC to warrant their jaw crushers to crush up to 60,000 PSI material. Normally, our competition warrants stop at 35,000 PSI. CEC pitman casting design is the most modern in the industry. 
The shaft is set back in the casting and does away with the round barrel overhanging the crushing chamber. This allows extra unobstructed feed to the crushing chamber. The Pitman protection plate and jaw dies have a parallel top surface, so again no obstruction. The Pitman protection plate surface helps to provide even feed pressure to the jaw chamber. The CEC jaw is an overhead eccentric jaw with an excellent eccentric stroke. Most sizes run at 250 RPMs. This stroke, the 27 degree nip angle, long jaw dies, and the 250 RPMs provide excellent rock grip and superior throughput of the rock. A jaw is a compression crusher. It receives material on the open stroke, turns up and over, forcing the rock into the crushing cavity, then closes down, compressing the rock into fractured pieces. Technical data sheets are available on each size of CEC jaw crushers that provide shaft size, bearing sizes, and crushing chamber lengths. CEC makes jaw crushers in many sizes, from small to very large. 12 by 36, 20 by 30, 24 by 36, 25 by 40, 30 by 42, 32 by 48, 32 by 54, 40 by 48, and 40 by 60. A dust suppression system is also available. The CEC impactor plant has an optional high pressure atomized water system for dust control. This system has a high pressure pump that develops 160 pounds per square inch pressure and feeds water to a distribution manifold and onto atomizing water spray bars. This high pressure atomized water spray drifts with the dust weights the particles down, and causes them to fall to the ground or onto the belts. There is a spray bar at each transfer point to assure exceptionally clean operation. This system has met or exceeded the expectations of all purchases to date.